Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to find any duplicate files on your computer. And to do this, we will be using a program called TubeGuru. If you click on the link that's in the description below, you will end up on a page that looks like this. And I've got to tell you, this is a fantastic program for finding duplicate files. But if you're thinking, oh, I've already got so many programs on my computer and I don't want to install another program, then if you have CCleaner installed on your machine, then that actually has a duplicate file finder as well. If I just open up CCleaner quickly, once you have CCleaner open, if you go down to Tools and then click on Duplicate Finder, this is the Duplicate Files Finder in CCleaner. And it really is just as good as TubeGuru. As you can see, there are lots of options there. Down the bottom here, we have our drives and folders that we want to include, and we have the drive and folders we don't want to include. We can also ignore zero byte files, read-only files, file size under one meg, and system files and hidden files. But anyway, back to TubeGuru. Once you have clicked on the link, you now need to click on Windows, and you now need to go Save File. Once the file has finished downloading, we can now run the setup file, and we can go OK. You now need to go Next, I agree, and we want to go next again and install. Once it has finished installing, we can go finish and you now need to open up the program. Once you have opened up the program, this is what you will end up with. As you can see along the top here, we have our application mode. Currently mine is set to standard, but you can also choose from music or picture. If we go to the next level, we have scan type and it's currently set to contents. We can even choose file name or folders. And if we click on more options, we have a few more options here. We have our filter hardness. We also have can mix file kind, use regular expressions when filtering, remove empty folders on delete or move, ignore files smaller than 10 KB. That's a really important one because for this video, my files that I am going to be using are actually below 10 KB. If I press OK and select the folder I want to scan, which is on my desktop, if you click on the little plus button down the bottom here, we can actually add a folder by selecting Add Folder. You can now find the folder or the hard drive you want to scan and just simply press Select Folder. The folders will now go onto the list here, or the hard drives, and we can now go scan. And we can go yes. And as you can see, it's not found any duplicate files. And that is because they are below 10 KB, like I said. If I now press OK, and go back to more options, and untick the ignore file smaller than 10 KB, and go OK, and press scan again, there we go, it's found my duplicate files. If I right click on the top one and just simply go open containing folder, we can now actually open up each text document and as you can see, they both have the same text in there. Even though they both have a different file name, it doesn't matter, it's managed to detect that they are both the same file. And it will do this for pictures as well, and music. It's a really good program, like I said. We have lots of different options here. For example, we can send the marked to recycle bin. And we don't actually have to open up the containing folder. We can also just select open selected with default application, and it will open up the file. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.